His beam is as strong as my Gallic gun! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the main reasons Dragon Ball became the global sensation it is today. Your death won't be in vain, Gohan! Number 10, Fusion. When choosing between two characters, Dragon Ball asked, why not both? You've got Goku, you've got Vegeta, and when you put them together, you get something that's way more than the sum of its parts. Who do you think you are? Hmm. We are Gogeta. Kakarot and Vegeta have merged together to take Broly down. You what? As a literal union of rivals, Fusion is a neat bit of thematic storytelling, but in fights, it's also sick as hell. We're a merged fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito! Especially when Vegito and Gogeta start throwing out their signature attacks. They aren't the only ones fusing either. Nowadays, it's weird when Goten and Trunks don't rush into battle as Gotenks. Whoa, it worked! There's a good reason fusions are at the center of the franchise's most memorable fights. It's two for the price of one, what's not to love? Number nine, all the movies and specials. Some things just deserve to be seen on the big screen. For example, Dragon Ball. Whether a weekly anime was airing or not, the franchise has always delivered top-notch side stories in the form of various movies and specials, some of which, like History of Trunks, feel like mandatory viewing. The features expand on the series' lore, all the while introducing their own slew of legendary characters, fights, and transformations. Special theme cannon! Let's put it this way, without the films, we wouldn't have Gogeta, Broly, Beast Gohan, or Dragon Ball Super at all. The specials didn't just explore the series, they kept it alive, and did a damn good job of it too. Number 8, so much merch. No matter where you live, if you walk into a store, odds are you're finding something Dragon Ball related. This is the true power, complete in all its majesty. Do you like art? Look no further. Shirts and blankets? Dragon Ball's got you covered. Action figures? Come on, do you really need to ask? It's over 9,000! 9,000? There's no way that can be right! And this is just at everyday stores. If you go to a convention or anime shop, you'll find more Dragon Ball memorabilia than you'll ever need. The series is a total merchandising juggernaut, and with new forms and characters constantly being introduced, there's no sign of it slowing down anytime soon. But collectors be warned, those figures don't always come cheap. How does it feel becoming a god? It's incredible. Number 7, The Fans Remember all that stuff we said about Dragon Ball merchandise? Well, that's only possible because of the absolutely rabid fanbase. People don't just like Dragon Ball, they love it. And once you're a fan, you're a fan for life. The series has lasted so long, the audience includes just about every age, demographic, and nationality you can think of. And for the most part, they're all eager to talk about Dragon Ball. There's conventions, an abridged series, dedicated wikis, online forums, game tournaments. We could go on. This is Farewell, Bulma, Trunks, and even you, best buddy. Vegeta, no! Vegeta! Yeah! The fan base continues to grow and shatter expectations. After all, what other fandom can say they unleashed the world's biggest Kamehameha? Guinness has certified that this was the most people performing a Dragon Ball Kamehameha. Number 6, Shunsuke Kikuchi's score. If you've ever gotten a Dragon Ball tune stuck in your head, you probably have Shunsuke Kikuchi to thank for it. Ah! 
The legendary composer worked on the original series, the films, and all through Z, leaving behind a portfolio that, quite frankly, speaks for itself. Please! Kikuchi's work ranges from pulse-pounding suspense to heart-wrenching melodies and everything in between. By the time Z's final episode rolls, it's clear that Kikuchi's efforts are as integral to Dragon Ball's identity as the story itself. GT and Super just didn't feel the same way without him. Then again, it's hard to say if anyone can ever live up to Kikuchi's esteemed legacy. <laughs> Number 5. The Dub Dragon Ball's English release helped popularize anime outside of Japan, and listening to it, we understand why. Ally to good! Nightmare to you! A lot of actors took a crack at the franchise in the 90s, but at the end of the day, Funimation's heartfelt dub took the crown. In fact, most of the outstanding original actors are still voicing the characters today. It's a wonder Sean Schemmel hasn't blown out his lungs yet. Cause now I'm mad. I'm really, really mad. And now it's time to pass! Later on, Dragon Ball Z Kai gave the team a chance to redub the series with modern technology and a more faithful translation. Whether you like the nostalgic original or the updated re release, there's no denying what Dragon Ball's English dub accomplished. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, Kakarot. We don't need their trinkets to win. <laughs> this is what it means to be a true warrior of the Saiyan race. Number 4. The characters grow and change. It sounds simple on paper, but a lot of anime gets stuck in a cycle of repeating the same character beats over and over again. Not Dragon Ball, though. It's time for your terror to end! <laughs> Goku doesn't just grow up, he has a whole family, one of whom gets an entire saga as the main character. Goku's youngest steps up to the plate, too, and eventually, so does his granddaughter. Oh no, then let's get serious! Dragon Ball's characters practically grow up alongside you, and that speaks to the series' unique cross-generational appeal. The cast isn't static. They evolve, they power up, they lose, and they retire too. To put it bluntly, Dragon Ball changes, and that's for the better. Till we meet again, guys! <laughs> Number 3. Akira Toriyama's Art for all the circumstances surrounding the series' success, there'd really be no Dragon Ball without the man behind the manga. Akira Toriyama is an artist and storyteller that needs no introduction. The way he conveyed kinetic energy through still images is nothing short of masterful, especially considering he did it on a weekly basis for over 10 years straight. Still, the most impressive part of all is that Toriyama's success wasn't planned. Even though he famously improvised large chunks of Dragon Ball's story, his artwork, plot lines, and character work remained impeccable until the very end. There's only one explanation for how he did it. Toriyama was simply a master. Number 2. The Transformations Nothing is quite as cool as watching a character you love struggle, train, and finally push beyond their limits. Luckily, that's what Dragon Ball transformations are all about. I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Freezer. Starting with Goku's blue-eyed debut on Namek, the series has remained the gold standard on what a good anime power-up should be. Their big turning points rooted in character growth and usually accompanied by a jaw-dropping fight for survival. At this point, it's safe to say Dragon Ball has some of the most iconic transformations in all of animation. Even though Goku's tried on quite a few hairdos over the years, his power-up roar will never stop giving us chills. I'm sorry that took so much longer than the others, <laughs> but I haven't had much occasion to practice this one. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Fights To many, action is what makes Dragon Ball Dragon Ball, and it's hard to blame them. Galagon! Everything from the engaging choreography to the bombastic techniques to the high stakes back and forth is at the very top of what anime can do. Throw in some remarkable villains and a fantastic cast of characters and it's no wonder fights are Dragon Ball's calling card. Man. Man. Now you die! In a way, action's the reason the show broke down so many boundaries. No matter if it's a beam struggle with Vegeta, fighting Frieza on Namek, or finally eliminating Jiren from the Tournament of Power, a Kamehameha is the same in every language. Roughly translated, it means you're in for a good time. What do you think makes Dragon Ball so special? Let us know in those comments below. Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.